Praise the Lord, dear children of God. I hope all of you are doing great and you all enjoying the peace and grace that is in Him who is and was and is to come, our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I have an encouraging thought for you and I hope this would be a blessing to you and I pray that this would be a blessing to your family as well. Let me take you to Genesis chapter 48. When Joseph heard his father was sick, he took his two sons and brought them to Jacob so he could bless them. Uh, in verse 20 we see, uh, on that day he blessed them and said, In your name will Israel pronounce his blessing. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. An amazing promise that is. Here Jacob is prophetically pronouncing the blessing upon the children of Joseph. Then the future generations will invoke this blessing that may God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. Who are these Ephraim and Manasseh? Let me take you a few chapters back to Genesis chapter 42. We see that there Joseph is standing, uh, 41. Um, Joseph is standing in front of uh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh is considered the most powerful person in the world. He was considered divine and uh, like an intermediary between God and humans. There's nothing hidden or concealed from him. But here he is telling Joseph, Joseph, I had a dream. I want you to interpret that for me. Joseph's response was amazing. Joseph said, I cannot do it, but I know the one who can do it. My God can answer your problem. And Joseph was implying, Pharaoh, you might be considered God in this region, but there is a God above you who can solve mysteries. My God can interpret dreams. Joseph was always glorifying God whenever he got a chance. Okay, a uh, few words after. Uh, you know, we know the incidents what happened. Uh, his life was dramatically changed. He became the governor of Egypt. And uh, words 50, 51, 52, profound words. Before the years of famine came, uh, two sons were born to Joseph. The first one he named Manasseh and he said it is because God has made me forget my past troubles and my father's household and the second one he named Ephraim and said it is because God has made me plentiful or fruitful in the land of my suffering we know the life of Joseph when he looked at the face of his firstborn, he, that Manasseh declares a God who will make me forget my troubles. You know, Joseph was a righteous man. When, when, while he, was, he had a troubled past, he had a so distressed uh, past. He was a righteous man. Everything he did, he did it right. But while he was a boy, he was always bullied and belittled by his own brothers. He was even physically and mentally abused. He was put in a pit and he was sold away by his own brothers who were supposed to nourish and protect him. And in the house of Potiphar, we know that he was wrongly accused, wildly portrayed and put away in prison for wrong reasons. And uh, you know, even the cupbearer forgot him at the time of his need. Dear children of God, you might have a few, you might have a past that you always want to forget. You might have a dark areas of your life that you never want to bring the light on. There are maybe areas of your life that you always want to forget about. There are troubles, your past troubles. But me, let me remind you a God of Manasseh. He is the one who can make you forget your past troubles and your, your, your grievances. He is the one, a God of replacements. He will replace your past troubles with a powerful, fruitful future. My God is a God of Manasseh. Look at his life. When he look at the face of his second son, Ephraim, Ephraim, he, he, he's saying, he is declaring, it is because my God made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. You know that he was a righteous man. During all the ups and downs in his life, there was always one truth which stands. That truth is that the Lord is always with him. In uh, chapter 39, we know that in the in, in the house, of, while he was in the house of uh, Potiphar, the Lord was with him and he prospered. 
We know that while he was in the prison, the Lord was with him and he was honored. Uh, dear children of God, the God was always with him. While he was isolated and he was, uh, you know, uh, rejected by his brothers or, or by his, um, you know, office uh, where he worked, uh, the house he was on, uh, they all rejected him. But God was always there with him. It changed his life forever. We serve a God of Manasseh and a God of Ephraim. That is, he will make you forget your past troubles and he will make you fruitful in the land of your sufferings. Children of God, you may be in an area of suffering right now. You may be in a period of troubles right now. Uh, there may be nothing working smooth for you. There may be always trouble for you. You may be you may be uh, suffering with your health. You may be suffering in your finances. You may be suffering in uh, your personality or your habits or your spiritual um, condition. But uh, make sure that this Lord is with you. If the Lord is with you, He is the one who can make your trouble replaced with joy and peace he is someone who can make you fruitful in your area of suffering and this suffering will not last forever this barrenness will not last forever my god is the god of abraham isaac and jacob and he can make you fruitful you know that blessing god has given to adam and eve be fruitful and multiply same blessing to abraham